Hello, Ran here, AK Mac, and welcome. So, with my hype firmly fixed towards 3.0, I wanted to talk about something that I am looking forward to, which I'm sure many of you will be looking forward to too, and it will be more prominent in 3.0 when it is launched, which is exploration. Now, exploration can either be deep into an explored space or upon one of the three moons orbiting Crusader. Unfortunately, there won't be any actual planets available to explore in 3.0, but Daymar, Selin, Yella, uh, plus uh, the Levski landing zone, which is situated on the moon-sized asteroid Delmar, will be. Now, the concept of exploration in Star Citizen will consist of grabbing a ship uh, and heading off into previously unseen and undiscovered places, looking for either hidden gems or points of interest far away from civilization. Now, currently in, uh, in 2.6, exploration is practically non-existent. Although there are 100 sextillion kilometers of space to explore, we don't tend to. Uh, there isn't much out there to find, uh, especially not that we haven't found already anyway. But 3.0 should change this. There may not be a bigger play area of space, potentially, but it's not guaranteed. But there will be the addition of the constellation Aquila, which is an exploration vessel, allowing us to travel further. We'll talk about that a little later on, though. Uh, but CIG will hopefully leave many points of interest for us to find throughout, our, throughout the baby position universe. And sticking to that thought, I really hope that CIG use this opportunity to, uh, to use the procedural distribution tech and just scatter these points of interest throughout this diverse for us to have day-long adventures scanning space and heading further and further away from the populace. It would be so cool. But for this to work, obviously multi-crew and persistence need to be more robust. Being able to save your last location is very important, plus the ability to have your friends at the very least stay on board your ship without glitching through the floor is imperative. But anyway, the various options for exploration are derelict ships. We know that they are working on and already have shipwrecks, uh, so the potential discovery of random shipwrecks filled with either salvage, maybe some weapons, some cargo, or even data pads just telling the story of what actually happened to the ship, like what we have seen before, will be just great fun. Uh, on the 3.0 list of the schedule, it does actually say that the derelict ships will be added to the systems for extra points of interest and exploration, so we know that they do exist. We have recently seen that they are working on the Freelancer, Starfarer, Constellation and Caterpillar wrecks. Hopefully these will make it into 3.0. It will be so cool walking through some of the cargo holds of the Caterpillar. But maybe even finding uh, an intact ship for transport, you know, you can transport back and sell maybe or something along those lines would be very cool. Now, I would love to see the addition of aliens, but I highly doubt it. Now, I'm not thinking anything along the lines of the Jan or the Van Duel, but more sort of unusual life forms, nothing too advanced, just something to put the shits up here, like face huggers or something along those lines, uh, giving us a reason to be cautious and nervous whenever we approach these, because we know that there's no danger in these, uh, these sites. It'll just be the same thing over and over again. Now, in terms of space stations, we know CIG are working on some space stations, one of which is Truck Stop. Uh, they could include stations which maybe be abandoned out in the middle of nowhere for us to find. We haven't heard anything about this, so it's not likely that we will see this. But they could maybe place Station Damien or a similar version of Station Damien. Uh, having a story to uncover or some salvage on board. It's completely doable uh, and coming across an abandoned station would just be so, so cool. Especially with a group of friends. Now, with the new mission givers uh, making it into 3.0, we have Miles Eckhart and a chap called Ruto, who we haven't actually met yet. Uh, we could see the option for missions requesting you to uh, you and our crew to search for a particular ship which went missing, maybe giving you its last known location. You can trace the steps. This would set the scene for some really cool exploration missions. Finding a ship on low power, maybe with data pads and bodies floating around, like what we saw in the demo um, with the derelict ships could give people a reason to explore and crew up. Other options could include rescuing a ship gone adrift or responding to distress beacons with unknown circumstances. There's a lot of options there. With the addition of the three moons though, this brings a completely new version of exploration, uh, which is planetary or surface exploration. Each moon has its own unique look and feel, providing a ton of exploration opportunities. We have seen images of each showing the landscape. These are really big considering it would take about 12 hours for a player to sprint across the whole surface completely. Um, so they could sprinkle these surfaces with many hidden gems and other things located planet side. Like with space, shipwrecks or ship derelicts will be distributed across across the, uh, the surface. Could we see a version of the Sand Nomads planet side? Uh, maybe not. Uh, but outposts have been very prominent in ATVs recently. These will consist of storage, hydroponics and habitation. Each will look different and hold unique equipment. 
Some may be populated, they said, uh, others derelict. Hopefully they will contain things, again, like data pads for stories or stuff to salvage to earn credits. It does mention in the schedule for 3.0 clusters of outposts, so small settlement-like areas with multiple outposts will exist. Whether we'll have any actual functionality with these outposts, I'm not sure. Uh, they will exist. We know that much for sure, so we will be able to check them out. But again, in terms of missions for Planetside, they could be quite similar to what we see in space. Search, searching for lost ships uh, or responding to distress signals. It is also written in the schedule that there will be a crash site mission. Hopefully more than one, as I guess it will involve searching and searching the wreck and figuring out what happened. What I would like to see is on one of the moons, the uh, the one where they threw they flew through that little valley area. If there was a shipwreck down there and you can only get to it by walking in from one end or the other, you can't fly in. That would be so cool. But I, again, I do hope that CIG will distribute things along the planet's surfaces too. It will give the game so much more longevity until the new patch comes out. They don't have to reveal it to us or the locations to us. Let us find them. That is what is exciting about it. Now, the new vehicles that will be coming to 3.0, a lot of them revolve around exploration in space or on planet. The Constellation Aquila is your dedicated exploration variant of the Constellation lineup. It has advanced sensors, ideal for scanning further and picking out more anomalies, uh, extended fuel tanks for greater duration flight, plus the addition of the Ursa Rover, which is the next vehicle available. Uh, this is a land-based wheel vehicle uh, which can cover and transport players across the planet's surface quickly and safely, ideal for reaching areas where a ship is not capable, the Dragonfly has the ability to go both in space and planet side, useful for reconning maybe a derelict or getting to hard to reach areas within asteroid fields with it being so small and nimble. Uh, the Cutlass Black revamp will be complete for 3.0 as well and although it's nothing to do really with exploration, the ability to carry multiple crew and have easy access via the side doors will make it a useful ship when searching wrecks. Now, I'm not sure whether we'll see any form of AI in, in, other than in flight, of course. Planetside AI would be so cool, like the Sand Nomads. But either way, danger will still exist through the form of real players. If you travel to, say, a cluster of outposts, players could be laying in wait for an ambush, uh, creating the need for caution. Uh, I think that is very important. We need, when it comes to exploration, there needs to be a goal for the exploration. So not just discovering things, but a reward for it. But also, there needs to be some form of fear or threat. If you just know that nothing is going to happen, you get there, you probably have to take out some pirate ships and then you can explore at your free will without any danger. It's going to be a bit boring. There needs to be some form of threat there. But anyway, the purpose of this video is just to talk about and highlight some of the cool features that we can expect to see and play in 3.0. 2.6.3 is currently all revolving around combat. 3.0 will bring a lot more and provide far greater platform for proper adventures. Personally, exploration is something that I will be doing a lot of in private and in YouTube videos and on Twitch streams. I do plan to create a gameplay series exploring the moons and exploring deep space with uh, friends in a slight roleplay aspect, not too serious, uh, but I really can't wait for that. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on this. What are you excited about when it comes to 3.0 exploration? Don't forget we're giving away a Star Citizen starter package courtesy of my wonderful patrons who help me grow my YouTube channel by donating a monthly pledge. Be sure to subscribe and comment on any video throughout the month of May to stand the chance of uh, entering. Hit that like button, follow me on Twitch, Twitter and Instagram and I shall see you next time.